Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the water depth in a narrow channel varies with the tides. The following table shows the water level at a 12 hour period. Now here, in the first part, we have to make a scatter plot of the water depth data. In the second part, we have to find a function that models water depth with respect to time, both sine function and cosine function. And in the third part, we have to find in one cycle between what time the depth is more than or equal to 11 feet. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, the periodic phenomena using trigonometric function is of the type y is equal to a sine of b into x minus c the whole plus k or y is equal to a cos of b into x minus c the whole plus k where amplitude is equal to absolute value of a Period is equal to 2 pi upon absolute value of B and here K represents vertical shift and C represents phase shift or horizontal shift. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here, in this table we are given the water depth in a channel for different times starting from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. First of all, we will make a scatter plot for this data. Now on the graph, we will take time on horizontal axis and depth on vertical axis. Now what? 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on on horizontal axis represent 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and so on and 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on on vertical axis represent the depth in feet. Now let us plot the first point on the graph that is 12 a.m. with 9.9 .9 feet. Now we know that 0 on horizontal axis represents 12 a.m. So we will take x is equal to 0 for representing 12 a.m. and depth is equal to 9.9 .9 feet. So, for x is equal to 0, we will take y is equal to 9.9 .9 and this is the required point with coordinates 0, 9.9. .9. Similarly, we will plot all the other points on the graph. So, we have plotted all the points on the graph. So, this is the scattered plot for the given data. Now here, let the periodic phenomena is given by y is equal to a cos of v into x minus c the whole plus k. Now first of all, let us write equation of midline for this periodic function. Now here, maximum depth is 11.6 feet and minimum depth is 5.4 feet. So, midline is at y is equal to minimum value plus maximum value whole upon 2 which implies y is equal to now here minimum value is 5.4 feet plus maximum value of depth is 11.6 feet 
So y is equal to 5.4 plus 11.6 whole upon 2. And this applies y is equal to 17 upon 2 which further gives y is equal to 8.5. Now we know that net line is drawn at y is equal to k. So here k is equal to 8.5 that means vertical shift is equal to 8.5. Now let us find amplitude. Now amplitude is equal to maximum value minus minimum value whole upon 2. So this is equal to 11.6 minus 5.4 whole upon 2. This is equal to 6.2 upon 2 and this is equal to 3.1. Now from the key idea we know that amplitude is equal to absolute value of A. So here absolute value of A is equal to absolute value of 3.1. Therefore A is equal to 3.1. Now let us find P yet. Now from the key idea we know that P yet is equal to 2 pi upon absolute value of B. Now it shows 12 hour period at 12 pm we have reached approximately the same point that was at 12 am. Therefore 2 pi upon B is equal to 12 which implies B is equal to 2 pi upon 12 which further gives B is equal to pi by 6 which is approximately equal to 0 0.52 because pi is equal to 3.14. Now we have A is equal to 3.1 and B is equal to 0 0.52 approximately. Now we know that cosine function without phase shift and vertical shift is given by y is equal to A cos of Bx. Now putting these values here, this will be y is equal to 3.1 cos of 0.52x. Now here we have drawn a graph and here this green curve is the graph of the periodic function y is equal to 3.1 cos of 0.52x and this red curve is the graph of the given data now here we have to find the phase shift. Now this green curve is the graph of this periodic function that is without phase shift and vertical shift. Now to find the phase shift we will compare the highest point of green curve and highest point of red curve. And in this graph we see that the parent curve, that is this green curve, is shifted two units to the right and we obtain this red curve. Thus the phase shift is of two units to right. So here C is equal to 2. Now here we have C is equal to 2, A is equal to 3.1, B is equal to 0 0.52 approximately and K is equal to 8.5. So model of periodic function is given by Y is equal to 3.1 cos of 0 0.52 into X minus C that is X minus 2 the whole plus K and here K is 
So, the model of periodic function is given by y is equal to 3.1 cos of 0.52 into x minus 2 the whole plus 8.5. Now, let us take the sine function. Now, sine function is given by y is equal to a sine of b into x minus c the whole plus k. Now the period, amplitude, midline all remains same as in cosine function. The change is only in value of c that is phase shift. So here also let us find phase shift. Now here we will compare the given graph that is this red curve with the graph of the periodic function y is equal to 3.1 sine of 0.52 x that is the graph without phase shift and vertical shift. Now if we compare the maximum height of red curve and the maximum height of green curve that is if we compare the highest points then we see that parent curve that is, this green curve is shifted one unit to the left and we have obtained this red curve. Thus, here C is equal to minus 1. So here the equation will be Y is equal to 3.1 sine of 0 0.52 into X minus of minus 1 will be X plus 1 the whole plus 8.5. Now, next we have to find that in one cycle, between what time the depth is more than or equal to 11 feet. Now, we can use graphic calculators to graph a function when its equation is known. So, here, let us graph the periodic function y is equal to 3.1 cos of 0 0.52 into x minus 2 the whole plus 8.5 using graphic calculator. Now using graphic calculator, the following graph is obtained. Now from the graph we can see that in one cycle the curve reaches y is equal to 11 twice. Now here you can see when x is equal to 0 0.8 approximately, y is equal to 11. And when x is equal to 3.2 approximately, y is equal to 11. Now here, as the horizontal axis is representing the time, so x is equal to 0 0.8 can be written as 0 0.00 hours plus 0 0.8 hours which is equal to twelve AM plus zero point eight into sixty minutes which is equal to twelve AM plus forty eight minutes which is equal to 12.48 a.m. Similarly, 3.2 is equal to 3.12 a.m. Thus, between 12.48 a.m. and 3.12 a.m., the depth is more than or equal to 11 feet. So, this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.